today. I'm fixing to go off my rails on this crazy train because my air conditioning still doesn't work. The, the repairman just got here, so if we, we have to talk to him, we'll just we'll talk and we'll get back to our subject. But we're having a little bit of lunch. I already ate a bunch of this, but there is some banana ice cream. If you're not familiar, you take your bananas, super ripe, you peel them, you throw them in the freezer in a Ziploc container or whatnot. You get them out, you throw them in your high speed blender, all frozen. You blend them up and you eat them. Shazam. And today I've got a little ground allspice in there, which makes it taste like butter pecan. Because, you know, you have to have some staples, like, um, let's just say you're trapped. You can't even do your hair right because it's so stinking humid. And my friend Scott did put me in a temporary, um, window unit so that I wouldn't sweat to death. But you have to be trapped here. You can't even go to the grocery store because you have to wait on the repairman. They tell you a certain time, but they really do lie. And frankly, you could have had just two days ago a whole refrigerator full of left fat raw vegan food, and now guess what you have? Nothing. I mean, when I clean out my refrigerator, I, I really like, like, there's just nothing in there because there's some water, we have some kale, and we have, of course, some sprouts. In the freezer, we have nothing. <laughs> Oh, I do have all my lemon and um, ginger cubes, and I have these. These will also work if you're going to, it's like a reusable little thing from the natural food store um, for frozen bananas in there. Um, you can also just use, you don't have to use baggies if you run out. I ran out and I didn't want to buy any because I didn't want to spend $3, so I didn't. So that's pretty much all I have. So the point is to make do, I'm going to have banana ice cream because I don't have to think, well, you know, I could just have, have some crackers or something that's going to make me sick or something. No, have a backup plan. And mine is always banana ice cream because I have that and typically I have some celery, but I ate it last night. So I'm coming to y'all because I want to talk about this. Not absorbing other people's negative energy. You know, you are not put in this world to just please others. You know what I mean? To live up to their expectations. Frankly, I, you know, I go about, you know, my days now like, um, you do your thing and I'll do mine. You know, peace and love and tranquility. And somebody said on a comment on the YouTube comments that, um, I sounded like I had a little new, new age going on, like something from the 60s. I'm really not stoned. It just seems like it. Um, it's just that I live on a, on a different frequency and vibration now that things just don't bother me. I really don't absorb other people's crap anymore. I just don't have to, and I don't. Um, you know, if you want to heal yourself, it is more than, than the food you're putting in your body. It is more than the food you're not putting in your body. It's more than the rest you're getting. It's more than the exercise you're doing. It's more than the pure water you're drinking. What are your thoughts doing? And what negative junk are you allowing to be absorbed to your enter from other people? Um, not taking in other people's junk helps you remain calm and balanced inside, don't you think? You know, and when we can get to this point, it starts with loving yourself. When we can get to that point where we genuinely love ourselves, we can love others where they are. Even people, you know, when you have a YouTube channel and people watch you and you want them to, that a lot of times they say mean things. And um, you really have to have the, it's not even the ability to have a thick skin. It's the ability not to give a fruit. You know what I mean? Not that I don't care what people are saying. But I don't internalize that. Do you know what I mean? Are y'all at that point? You know, I mean, loving others where they are, no matter where they are. Not letting it affect you. Keeping in mind that you don't have to let their emotional state change your inner balance. Your inner terrain can remain the same. And that's not like some goofy Zen yoga, just hmm which I do think well, it wouldn't work in this situation because I'm doing this, but breathing, you know, realizing, using your senses to get beyond that. Why don't we give people control like that over us? Isn't that interesting? Um, 
As you become more sensitive though on this diet and lifestyle, your pineal gland will open. You will start to become more intuitive and more in tune to those around you. And you have to be very careful not to absorb their negative emotions, you know. And not that you don't care, but you can't let it affect your inner balance or you're losing the gift of yourself that you are to the world that only you can feel, you know. Um, as you clean up your life, you're going to start to notice this more. This is why I talk about this a lot. It's something I've had to learn over, over the years to create balance in my life. Um, you know, not everybody's going to like me. Not everyone's going to like you. Not everybody's going to like the path we've chosen in our life. Um, but really, you don't have to take that on. You know what I mean? Um, be yourself and true to yourself. When you, when you are, that is easier to not absorb other people's bad vibe or bad negative vibe towards you, you know? Because you can accept them where they are. If they say, you know what, you're a fruit loop. Nobody is going to live like that. Nobody um, really gives a rip what you're saying, Tanya. And I can say, okay, I understand that you feel that way. <laughs> it didn't affect me. I don't internalize that. It doesn't change who I am, nor what I think about myself. Choose whether or not you will let this person enter your mind and your zone, so to speak. This person's thoughts do not have to be yours. Um, you know, we give people an invitation to enter our mental realm. Do you know what I mean? Physical or mental or emotional, we give them an invitation and we either accept or deny their invitation. We do not have to go to every party that someone invites us to. Not everybody has to be involved in my mental party I have going on, you know. <laughs> That's funny. We have the power to invite people into our thoughts or not. People can say what they want and they can do what they want, but it does not have to affect you. That sounds so simplistic and it sounds, but people say, well, how do you, you know, live in this world like that? Have you been doing it that long? How do you not, you know, well, how can I go here or there? You just do. You just are yourself no matter what, you know. Stop paying attention to other people's negative energy, you know. Thoughts are energy. Stop giving these people your energy. You know, it's a give and take. You give them the energy and they take that from you. What are they giving you in return? Don't go to their party. You know, learn to breathe like a butterfly. This, this is a, a real thing, okay? The more you breathe, the quicker you breathe, and the, well, and also deep. But, you know, even like being in the moment of quick, shallow breaths or long, deep breaths, but what you're doing is you're being in that moment. And also, it increases the blood flow in your body, increases your breath, and increases your calmness and your mental alert state. You know, the more in charge we are of ourselves, the more we can become our own unique gift to this world. And isn't that what we want? Because if you don't think you're worth anything in the world that the unique gift that you have you don't deserve to take time to cultivate that or time to shine really what is your point that's what I ask myself sometimes you know when you have your breath moving more and you're more in tune with that you immediately go to a different frequency and different vibration You know, what channel are you tuning into? What people are feeding you every day? You may have people in your life that you think, um, 
you can just think about that person. They're not around. They haven't said anything different. They haven't done anything. And immediately you become tense and stressed. Don't go to that party. They have control over you and they're not even around you this moment. But yet they're still controlling you. Isn't that strange? We ultimately do choose, choose our reality, don't you think? And some people may say, well, I don't choose that. You know, I have to do this or that. No, you don't. All you really have to do is live and die. Some people don't want to upset other people. You know, they're these people pleasers. Um, they choose to blend in instead of being their authentic self. Instead of choosing to listen to their heart song. So actually, instead of giving people, they're, they're these people pleasers, these givers. But they choose to mute down their own heart song. And instead of giving to people they love, they actually steal from them. They steal from them because they don't emanate their own unique quality, their own unique self. You're the only person that can be you, you know. You're the only person that got up this morning with the special job of you. The job of you. No one else can fill your shoes. Nobody, no corporation, no, no anybody can say, well, I'm, re I'm replacing Tanya. I'm going to fill her spot with someone else. Because guess what? No one can. No one can be me but me. Isn't that liberating? No one can be you but you. So we don't want to steal that gift from others, do we? Don't just blend in. You know, don't sit down and shut up. Stand up and speak up for who you are. Loving yourself is the greatest revolution. You know what? Doing the own dang thing. <laughs> Even if people think you're on some crazy train, you know? <laughs> Do y'all want a bite? I can feed you. Later, bye.